Good morning, boys and girls. I'm just trying to, you know, see what I can do here. Hold on just a second. Hey, Miss Carrie. <laughs> Hi. What, what are you doing there? Well, I'm trying to light this on fire, but it's not really working. Ah! That's a, you're kind of scaring me, actually. That's what. That's can you sweet. tell me why it's not working? Why do you? Why is it it's not, not working? light? No, uh, it's not. Well, like, you tried the lighter. Okay, the lighter works. Okay, that works. Uh -huh. And then it just. Yeah. Oh, Miss Carrie, this yeah. is wet. So things that are wet won't light on fire. Right. Well, well let me try. Can one. I show you something? Um, do you mind if I sit down? Yeah, you can sit, sit down. Okay. All right. Well, yep. Nothing. Um, like I keep so, trying, and it won't work. Look. Uh, so. Yeah. All right, but you're gonna need probably some water to okay. put it out. Okay, I think okay. I got some. Okay, are you, are you ready? Yep. Um, I think I might even like tear this, this is kind of big. Yeah. Woo! Okay, tear it in half. All right, are you, re are you ready? <laughs> no, I'm not, I don't like fire. <laughs> I know, is, I it don't gonna, is this one gonna light? Well, it's not wet. So you think it will? I, it, okay. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Okay, okay. There it is, it's on okay. fire, yep, uh-huh, and oh. whew, whew. Okay, that was close. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Oh my goodness, Miss Carrie. Yeah. Oh, it so, smells. Oh yeah, it sure does. But see, like now that it's wet, it you know just like with yours, we probably uh -huh. can't light it on fire. See? Yeah, because it's won't wet. Won't light on fire because it's wet. See, things oh, that are wet, wet won't light, won't on, light fire. on fire. That reminds me of the story I was reading. That's actually why I was trying it because I wanted to see if it if it really was something that only God could do. So like I was oh. testing it out. I think I know which story you're talking about in the you Bible. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, um, I have a feeling that that is actually the story we're telling the boys and girls this week. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, maybe we could uh, share you want, all of this with them. Share? Yeah. That would be cool. Well, yeah. let me go put this down. Okay. And then maybe we can share it with the boys and girls. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that'd be fun. Hey, while Miss Emily's gone, make sure you go get your Bibles, okay? We're gonna be reading a lot of our Bibles today. Wait, are you already talking to the boys and girls? Um, no. <gasps> oh! No. Hi! I no. didn't even know you guys were there. I was so focused on all that fire stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, they're <laughs> out there. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. Isn't that amazing that things that are wet won't start on fire? Yeah, so cool. Well, let's find out what okay, happens so in the Bible. Our story comes from this Bible, right? this book right here. What's it called? The this Bible. is my Bible. God's, God's holy, holy word, word, everything in it is true, and it's living inside you. And me and you. Yes. And so we're going to be in the book of First Kings today. May I pray over? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's pray over our time. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that your word is so amazing. I thank you that you show how powerful you are, that you are the one true God. And so, Lord, there is a right response, and I can't wait to study your word about how you light something on fire that is wet. I pray that we would know you more today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I'm so excited. So our story. Wait, what book? First Kings. First yeah. Kings. Okay, okay. Yeah. So our story is actually from First Kings chapter 17 and 18. Okay. But do you remember how King Solomon was? King Solomon a good king or kind of a wicked king and didn't do what God wanted? Started out good and went wicked. Wick yeah. And then there was like wicked king after wicked king. Yeah, we talked about Jeroboam last week and how mm -hmm. he was pretty bad. Well, let me tell you, there were some wicked kings, but now we come to King Ahab. And in chapter 16, verse 33, can you read right here? What does it say about Ahab? Ahab did more to anger the Lord mm -hmm. God of Israel than... <gasps> All the kings of Israel who were before him. Yeah, so he was very, wicked. very, very wicked. Oh, not good. Right, and he was, yeah, he was a very wicked king, him and his wife Jezebel. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so there was a prophet named Elijah. <laughs> and Elijah said to Ahab, this is what's, because he was a wicked king, because our sin, we always have what for our sin? We sin. Oh, it's not choose blessing. To sin, it's choose, choose to suffer. suffer. There's consequences. Yes, there's consequences. So can you read right here in verse 17 where oh, it says gladly. what the consequences Love are? Love reading God's word. It says that as the Lord God of Israel lives, in whose presence I stand, there will be no dew or rain, like no wetness, during these years except by my command. Yes. Whoa. Yes. That's scary because then there's like no water for mm -hmm. the food or you know, to make right. food and the plants or for the animals. Right. So Ooh. things are going to get really, really mm. messy and bad because sin has consequences. Oh, it does. So then um, God sent Elijah back to King Ahab. 
three and a half years later. And, and Elijah approached all the people, and this is what he said. Okay, in verse 21, it says, If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, the, that was like the, yeah, the false god. Uh -huh, that they were all following. Then follow mm -hmm. him. Yeah, because mm -hmm. Ahab was teaching his people to follow Baal oh, and not right. the one true God. I remember that. Mm -hmm. she, His wife had wanted everyone to not follow God. Not just right. like also other gods, but mm -hmm. don't even follow the one true right. God. Right. Whoa. So in verse 23, it says, let two bulls be given to us. So this is... King, this is Elijah the prophet saying what's going to happen. They are to choose one bowl for themselves, cut into pieces, and place on the wood, but not light fi the fire. I will prepare the other bowl and place it on the wood, but not light the fire. Then you call on the name of your God, and I will call on the name of the Lord, the God who answers with fire. He is God. So they're going to see who's actually God. Oh, like, here's all of their gods who mm -hmm. they say is a God, and see if it's real. Yeah. And then Elijah's going to see if the one true God is real. Right. Whoa. So, so Ahab's people, they built an altar and they put the bull on there. Mm -hmm. Look what they look what they did. Look, read right there. Baal, answer us. But there was no sound. No one answered. They danced mm -hmm. around the altar. No sound, no answer. Right. And Elijah even started mocking them. Shout loudly, for he's God. Maybe he think he's thinking it over. Maybe he's want has wandered away. Or maybe he's on the road. Perhaps he's sleeping and will wake up. <laughs> I can just hear Elijah going, Yeah, just be louder and then your God will hear you. Yeah, and that, so they did they did all those things <laughs> Whoa! and nothing and happened. Whoa. Nothing happened. It's a false God. Yeah, so I altar. So Elijah built his altar, mm -hmm. and he did twelve stones for the twelve tribes of Israel, and he also put a trench on it, and he had the people. Um, well, that's like a big ditch, right? Like yeah, around it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And they put the bowl on. They cut up the bowl in pieces and put it on the altar, mm -hmm. and it says, "Fill four water pots with water and pour it on the offering to be burned on the wood." So they, Elijah's telling them to drench the offering in water. And we know what happens when you try to light something that's wet on fire. It doesn't work. Yeah, really it work. doesn't work. And he didn't tell them to do it just one time. He told them to do it three different times to pour water on the altar. So it wasn't just a little bit wet. It was really wet. Yeah. And even the trench started to fill with water around it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. There's no way. We tried it with your washcloth and my paper. Won't, won't light work. on fire. But mm -hmm. guess what? Look at... Um, Elijah says right here in verse 36. Right God's there. word is so amazing. Yeah. Okay, in verse 36, Prophet Elijah approached the altar and said, Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, today let it be known that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant, and that your word, I have done all these things. Answer me, Lord. Answer me so that this people will know that you, the Lord, are God and that you have turned their hearts back. Then they keep, yeah, keep reading right there. This is the best part. Verse 38, it says, the Lord's fire fell and consumed the burnt offering, mm -hmm. the wood, the stones, the dust. It licked up the water, what was in the trench. When all the people saw it, they fell face down and said, the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Right, because there's only one true God. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So, Miss Emily, what does this story mean for the boys and girls out there? Oh. That there's only one true God. You know, it just... let something wet on fire. Well, I mean, if he can make something wet go on fire, uh -huh. clearly he is the one true God yeah. full of miracles. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, the people, they had a choice. They could either choose to follow false gods mm -hmm. or they could choose to follow the one mm -hmm. true God. So if you don't know and haven't confessed with your mouth and believed in your heart that he is the one true God, you can do it like right now. Right now. Yeah. Okay. And the angels in heaven will have a party. They get so excited when you have confessed with your heart and believe in your mouth. Confess with your mouth and believe, believe in your, your heart. heart. Yeah. That Jesus is your savior. Mm -hmm. He's the one true God who can make something wet on fire. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. But for those of us who do know Jesus as our Savior, mm -hmm. like Elijah knew, yeah. there was a right response. It was a choice of continuing to obey 
mm-hmm. Jesus or to turn away and think on things that don't please God. Right. It's one choice or the other. Mm-hmm. And choose to sin, choose, choose to, to suffer. suffer. Uh-huh. There were consequences. Mm-hmm. So we should be right in our thinking. Like, Miss Carrie, what are some things that you just really, really like? I really, really like TV. Ooh. So if Miss Carrie always thinks about the television or the television show that she really wants mm-hmm. to watch, and that's the only thing she thinks about, do you think that that pleases God? Miss <laughs> Carrie's laughing because she knows the answer is no. no. <laughs> okay, I know that my boys really love to play the Xbox, and sometimes that's the thing that they're thinking about. Do you ever do that with a game or a television show? Or maybe playing with a friend? That's all you think about and that's all you want. Oh, Mm -hmm. see, yeah, I have some things too. But the right response is to pray Mm -hmm. and make sure we're spending time with God Mm -hmm. before we do those things. Or we can use those things Mm -hmm. to please the Lord, making Mm -hmm. sure that they're things that we're using for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Or we can share Jesus. Like if you and I decide to watch a television mm-hmm. show together during the commercials, we could talk about Jesus and what he's doing in our life. Yep. So that's really exciting. Mm-hmm. So, Miss Carrie, would you pray for us I that would. we would do those things? Yes. Okay. Heavenly Father, God, I ask that you um, help us remember that you are the true God. And I ask that you help the boys and girls who do not know you as their Lord and Savior yet, God, and as the one true God. God, I ask that you help them to accept you as the one true God yes. right now, right away. And God, for those of us that have already accepted you as our Lord and Savior, God, I ask that you help us to put you as number one in our lives, God, ahead of video games, ahead of TV, ahead of food, ahead of our friends and our family, God. Help us to always do what it would take to put you as number one by spending time with you in your word and talking to you in prayer. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye.